What's up you guys? Welcome back to the Average Joe on Money financial channel and in this video we are starting a three-part series on Vanguard index funds. More specifically, Vanguard index funds for the average Joe out there, for the complete beginner. You know, you might think that right now during this health crisis we're dealing with might be the worst time to start investing. But the truth is, if you're not investing right now, the best time to start is <laughs> right now. And there is no better place to put your money than with Vanguard index funds. In this first video, we're gonna talk about how Vanguard was founded, on what principles they were founded, and why ultimately they are a different company than every other investment company out there. Hey, do me a favor, hit that like button below for the YouTube algorithm. And if for some reason you don't learn anything, if you don't find any value out of this video, then by all means, please take away that like. I don't want it if I don't deserve it. In parts two and three of this Vanguard index fund series, we're gonna talk more about what types of investments Vanguard offers and ultimately how you can start right now as a brand new investor investing in Vanguard index funds. So Vanguard was founded back in 1975 by John C. Bush who passed away a couple of years ago. And he created Vanguard with a unique and ultimately revolutionary idea. He said, let's create a mutual fund company that people can invest in, but have no outside ownership. Meaning the investors that own the funds oh, own the company. In 1975, shortly after they founded the company, they created the very first indexed mutual fund. I'll explain more in future videos what an indexed mutual fund actually is. But just know it was revolutionary at the time. By the end of 1975, Vanguard had in assets under management $1.7 billion. And now here in 2020, that number is 6.2, wait for it, trillion with a T trillion dollars. The reason why Vanguard is so revolutionary and so different than every other investment company out there is that to this day, even though John C. Bogle is now gone, the company he founded lives on and holds the same foundational principles. There are 30 million Vanguard investors and they are the owners of the company. There is still no outside ownership. Vanguard doesn't have any type of sales commissions and any type of profits the company earns are routed back into the company to keep those fees low. And let's talk about that right now. One of the massive benefits of having no outside ownership taking profits away from the company is this. All of those profits can be used to pay employees of the company, sure, but also to keep those fees for managing the investments really low. As we'll talk about in future parts of these series, every type of mutual fund or index fund out there does have an expense ratio, meaning the money that Vanguard charges you to manage the fund on your behalf. You should know that Vanguard index funds have expense ratios that are 82% less than the industry average. And in case you didn't know, the less money you have to pay in expense ratios, the more money you get to keep in your investments. And if I could expand on that in one simple way, I would tell you this. If you invested $10,000 with Vanguard index funds, as opposed to the industry, after 10 years you would save in fees alone $817. After 20 years of investing with Vanguard, you would save $2,830 based on that original $10,000 investment. And after 30 years, $7,353 would be saved. And that is based off of a $10,000 investment. Let's say you've been investing for a number of years now and you have $100,000 that you transfer over to Vanguard. Well, having those funds with Vanguard for 10 years means you would save $8,167. After 20 years, you would have saved $28,294. And after 30 years, you would have saved $73,529. But you should know that having low fees is not necessarily the end game here because you still have to have investments that perform. And that's what you get with Vanguard index funds. 87% of Vanguard's index funds have outperformed other similar funds over the past 10 years. 87%. So why do you choose Vanguard? Because they care about the individual investor. That's what John C. Bogle had in mind when he created this company over 45 years ago. Focus on the individual investor out there, the average Joe, if you will. Bring low cost, super diversified investments to the average Joe and let that company grow based on those foundational principles. Okay, so I'm guessing the majority of you are now big believers of Vanguard. I hope you are because I am. This is my Vanguard shirt, by the way. So you're excited about investing with Vanguard. Woohoo! But ultimately you're saying to yourself, oh, 
I have no idea how to do this. I'm brand new to investing and I'm certainly brand new to Vanguard index funds. Don't worry, I've got you back. In the next video, we're gonna talk about the types of accounts that Vanguard offers as well as the types of investments that they offer. We're gonna ultimately break down exchange traded funds and index mutual funds. And in part three of the series, we're gonna talk about how to start investing right now in Vanguard index funds. So if you don't wanna miss those videos and why would you wanna miss them? Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and click on the notification bell to be alerted to all of my future videos, but especially parts two and three of this Vanguard index funds series. And just so you know, if you're watching this video a few weeks in the future or even farther beyond, you can find the playlist where we walk through all three parts in this series in the description below. The great news for you is even though this video, oh, it's about to end, the learning doesn't have to stop. You can click on these videos right over there.